I've never insulted anyone no, sexually. I mean, I mean Christians, Christians, yeah. No, it's not because of that. It's because the Bible says he's a false prophet. <laughs> Simple. Look. Simple. No, so it's not a tit for tat. It's nothing to do, do you with you said this, I was Do you know what insults yes. mean? Yes. Yeah. It, this is my first you, language. You Believe it or not, I do know. No, Qualifications, no, you university know. level, I do know. <laughs> I do I know. I no, I know. know. I know. You don't think so, but that's because you're deficient in mind and religion, clearly. Anyway, in are we Islam, rolling? It's against the law. It's against the law to insult any prophet. What law? Islamic law. I don't. I don't recognise your law. What will happen? What will happen? What will happen? Everybody, what happens including to, Jesus. What happens? What ha Nobody's allowed hey, yo, to insult Jesus. Is this Jesus. a dialogue? Is it a dialogue? What happens to them? Well, if they insult Jesus, yeah, there is a law, you know. Yeah, are, are there like hundreds of false accusations of insulting Jesus in Pakistan, for example? with the Section C, like, death penalty blasphemy laws? Or is it mainly spurious accusations of insulting Muhammad no, against Christians? nobody could say Jesus was a bidophile, you know. Things no, like because he, not he, 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 he wasn't. No, because he wasn't. He wasn't. But if you that's say it about point. Muhammad, that's you're that's telling the, the truth. So that's why would the there point. be a law against no, telling the truth? He wasn't. He's okay, not that's not the point. My point, my point is why would it be against the law to tell the truth? No one is allowed to say Jesus was a donkey. Yeah, you're not following my argument because maybe you're deficient in mind and religion. I'm, I'm my just, argument is, if a I'm man... Just to what, tell you. Excellent, and I am telling you, I'm not trying, I'm telling you this. If Muhammad slept with a child, yeah. Sunnis agree that he did. If, by today's standards, that is paedophilia, Adnan agrees that it is, I think Hashim agreed, public yeah. Ali Dara yeah. agrees yeah. it is, hold on, yeah. then why would it... That. Yes, then yeah. why would it be yeah. illegal yeah. Yeah. under a religion that calls itself the religion of truth? Hello? Uh, why would that be? Why would it be illegal to speak the truth? Would you, would you go to... No, you're not answering. You're no, no, asking, answering. asking a question. No, no, I'm answering. I'm answering. Uh, answer, don't ask. No, no. You can say that... Go to a Muslim country and say it. We don't need to go there. I didn't ask that. I asked why would it be illegal to tell the truth? You will find out. If you, because if you're... You, uh, yeah, all right. Anyway, back to me. Because uh, the geezer's clearly here for an integrative, like, edifying uh, conversation. Go there and find out. Go F yourself is what he's telling me. Oh, mate. Go go top yourself. Okay. So, uh, let's... let's. Oh, well, thank you so much. Your opinion matters. Okay, right, so we're at persecution again, uh, like not the silly little heckling that I get. And really, the choices are overwhelming, and I hadn't quite chosen the story. What I feel like we're going to do is we're going to go for the place that I can't um, even hope to <laughs> pronounce. That's the one we're going to go for. And uh, let's, because, yeah. Okay, so a house church preacher in mm, Ning. I'm going to spell it for you. N I N G X, feel my pain, I A, is arrested for illegal gathering in a house church, you understand? So it's China, if anybody didn't notice by the X thrown into the middle of the uh, word there. And it's been reported uh, this month that um, on February 19th, a house church preacher's wife sent out a prayer request for Panshi Church and her imprisoned husband, whose name is Zheng Zhejun who leads the church and five other Christians who uh, released on bail, including herself. So they've been released and she was calling for just prayers to, um, to have her husband released. According to China Aid, after the church in uh, Huangnong district, Shizuishan uh, Ningxia Hui, autonomous region, I don't know what they call it locally, was raided during its Sunday service on December 5th of last year, 2021. Preacher um, Jeng Zijun was administratively detained. Doesn't really matter whether it's administratively or, you know, uh, penally. But he was detained for 15 days. Five other Christians were also administratively detained for 10 days and released on bail. So Hao Ying, who is Jeng's wife, Luo Sh uh, Shiping, Ye Ning Fang, Zhu Yung mm, Jung Yin, and Wang Sufang, those were the others. The authorities considered these Christians' gatherings as behaviour that has severely disturbed social order. Mm. <laughs> mm. Um, and slapped the arrested with days of detention. Whilst preacher Zheng was released last December, he was again detained in January and later arrested for organising and sponsoring illegal gatherings. Hao received a notice of her husband's formal arrest on January 25th and preacher Zheng is now being detained at Sizhuishan City's detention centre. In her prayer request, 
she said, I don't think our church services are illegal gatherings. Fellow Christians, please pray for us and for God's justice. Well, I echo her sentiments. Um, in case you don't know, Xi Jinping CCP, the Communist Party of China, um, regularly disrupt uh, mothers' meetings, church meetings. Um, they do, let me think rightly, they do have state-ordained uh, forms of Christianity there. However, they have been known to remove pictures of Christ and replace them with uh, their pre uh, president. They've also, this is the kicker, everybody, rewritten parts of the Bible um, in order to have Jesus become a murderer when he draws the line in the ground and says, let him who is without sin cast the first stone. He then does the job himself, which is tacitly all, you know, admitting that he's without sin and therefore God, because God works to the good of all those who love, love him and are called according to his purpose. So they can't, you know, um, successfully censor the truth or modify it. I mean, but come on, China. So, yeah, please do continue to pray for China's uh, just many, many uh, persecuted brothers and sisters of ours. Um, it's the uttermost ridiculousness. I've said it before, the reason that theists, Muslims included, are persecuted in China is because communism as a whole cannot stand the competition or the uh, differing spiritual focus of theists. Um, when you have the truth in your heart, and realize that this life is just the place where God forges you into the person he always uh, meant for you to be, it's, very, it's much more difficult to neuro-linguistically control people and to have them follow this godlessness uh, that is incumbent within communism and socialism. And, you know, just uh, let's pray for them because they haven't got it easy. Uh, they, are in, they are in the top 50... Uh, open doors list of countries where it is, uh, if not a death sentence in all 50, it's the only uh, very high to extreme levels of persecution are included in that top 50 now, which is a sad indictment of the way the world's going. But it's been foretold. Jesus said, if, you know, if they hate me, they'll hate you. Um, that's not to say we don't keep them in our prayers. When one suffers, we all suffer. So please do. I know I'm always asking you for prayers, but, um, get a little list going if you can and uh, maybe some in the morning some in the afternoon some in the evening pray ceaselessly if you fancy going biblical but um, obviously you know we've all got stuff to do also so I'm going to say God bless you please subscribe please share the stories of persecution that you hear because you may uh, not may not you won't see them on the mainstream so God bless you and keep you and uh, I'll see you soon bye bye